Well, it looks like Fandango is going to get involved. Well, it looks like Fandango is going to get involved with this. Making his way to the ring from London, England. We now have a war on our hands. That's, I knew this was coming, Cole, but you know what? I love it. I knew this was going to happen, but I love it. Come on. We need to get order here. <laughs> Good luck on doing that. And he goes right after him. Oh, wait. Nice reversal. Oh, look at that. Oh, out of nowhere. Who knows what's broken in there? No kidding. This could be really serious. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. This is wonderful. Sometimes you have to take what's yours. He's doing that right now. He's outnumbered, but he refuses to give up. Oh, come on. Is that really necessary? Please welcome my guest tonight. Let's talk about Fandango. He interrupted your match tonight to ambush you. Have any thoughts you want to share on that? He's not on my level. He shouldn't even be in the ring with me. I'm going to make quick work of him and move on to bigger and better things. That's all I got to say about that. There is a lot of tension brewing between you two. What's going on there? He makes me sick. He thinks he can call me out and try to get a match with me? He wants to make a name for himself by getting into the ring with greatness? Well, guess what? He is not worthy of that opportunity. He needs to come back again when he isn't the worst superstar in the locker room. There you have it. Back to you, Cole. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, Roman Reigns. Look around. Everybody is on their feet right now. Those eyes tell the story of somebody hell-bent on picking up the win here tonight.
They aren't going to wait. No, you're right. Here we go. Oh, my. Look at this. Oh, Martin, huge move. Huge move indeed. I can't believe it. Ha <laughs> ha, that's how you do it. Make a name for yourself, kid. Ha <laughs> ha, that's how you do it. Make a name for yourself, kid. Quick thinking to avoid that. Ha <laughs> ha, that's how you do it. Make a name for yourself, kid. Welcome back to the show. This is my guest tonight. Let's talk about Roman Reigns. We saw you two go face to face in the ring tonight. Care to share any thoughts on that? I wanted to get a closer look at my next victim. And I think I've seen enough after tonight. One look at him. And I know I will break him in two and break his will. Just wanted to see him face to face before I end his career. That's all that was. You two have been clashing a lot lately. Is this turning into a rivalry for you? He's trying to start a war that he can't finish. That's fine. I'm up. There you have it. Back to you guys.
and we're underway. Fatal four ways can be very dangerous, hence the name. A participant wants to stay out of harm's way as much as possible, and whenever possible, let your opponents do the work for you. It's just a matter of time now. Oh, wow. Ow! Ooh. Executed perfectly, and check out the look of satisfaction in those eyes. What's your analysis of Martin? You're talking about someone who has all the talent necessary to become one of the all-time greats. That might have realigned the spine permanently. He lands the strike with great accuracy. Not today, too fast. Say it, Pondango's too good on his feet to get hit with that. Man, oh man, did he take a wild swing with that one. <laughs> right, that was wild indeed. Good thing we're over here. Uh-oh. Oh, this is going to leave some scars, Bo Dallas. Look at the pain on his face after that neck breaker. Oh, and did you hear the impact? What an attack. Oh, man, did you hear that? She's going to be bruised from head to toe before this one's over. We're looking at complete domination here. Wow, he's still down. Oh, man, that's it. Did you hear that? I'm just glad I didn't feel it. Face and head are taking a great deal of punishment here. There's some serious power right there. These competitors will always be looking to unleash. The shoulders are down! And a kick out. Uh, the kick out's all that's saving. This match goes on. Wow. Well, you may not care for his dance moves, but he's more than just style. I mean, what else do you have to hit Fandango with to defeat him? Here's the cover. Come on, wrap his feet on the ropes. One, two. These competitors need to have their heads on a swivel if they want to survive this fatal throwaway match. When you look at the career of Fandango, you have to look at when and where he made his in-ring debut here in WWE. WrestleMania 29. What's even more impressive is that Fandango defeated a future WWE Hall of Famer in Y2J, Chris Jericho. And I'm not even discussing Fandango's brilliance on the day. He goes for the quick pin attempt. Oh, count, Rams, count. Two. Hey, and he escapes with a kick out. We're looking at complete domination here. Wow! If he keeps this up, look out below! Look out! Oh, there's another hit! Fandango exhibited his innate ability to infuriate and disgust others before he even had his first match in WWE. I found it nothing short of brilliant that Fandango refused to compete in the ring until his name was pronounced properly. It trended worldwide on social media. Yeah, you never did get it right, Cole, but I have to give Fandango credit. He also surrounded himself with very lovely ladies. At first, Summer Rae was on his arm until he upped the ante and decided to dance his nights away with Layla, really pushing his opponent to the limit here. Inside the ring again. Yeah, and they should be. This is where the action needs to be. doing a great job of turning that around. Down goes Dallas. Yeah, well, get used to it, kid. I don't care how good you are. Even the best get dropped from time to time. 
Look at this. Oh, out here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, and you can find yourself in a world of hurt. Y2J Chris Jericho is one of the most exciting superstars to ever compete in WWE. Whether he's a hero or villain, and he's been both many times, Chris Jericho looks to put on a wrestling clinic in that ring and dominate his opponents. Well, let's also remember, Cole, Jericho can be ruthless in getting what he wants when he wants it. I'm sure that type of pleasant display is not too far off in the distance. Oh, Dallas, what a crafty maneuver. Boat out and a kick out. And that's all that matters. This match continues. It starts to feel like a broken record with that move. Fondango turns it around. Oh, wait, nice reversal. There's the super kick. Man, and it was right on the button. Y2J has had a storied career and can rise to the occasion like no one else. The brighter the spotlight, the more obsessed Chris Jericho becomes with keeping it shining on himself. But to be fair, oh, Martin, huge moves. Huge move indeed. I can't believe it. Two, three. What a win. Man, he's got to feel great. Oh, there were some unbelievable highlights. Let's take a look back at what, oh, what a spectacular. I can't believe what we just... Here's your winner, John the Machine. Please join me in welcoming my guest tonight. Let's talk about what happened out there tonight. You really surprised everyone tonight with your actions. What was the meaning of this? I'm taking no prisoners. From here on out, I'm not waiting for any opportunities. I'm going to beat people up until I get what I want. I can promise you that. Thanks for the time. Back to you. Thank <laughs> you. 